Hey guys, Dungeon J here. Uh, now today we're gonna be talking about an add-on. I just wanted to make a really simple video. Let me actually answer this question for this guy. He's asking, what's the max camera distance? Uh, so you hit slash console, slash console, camera distance, max factor five. Okay. But anyway, All right, guys, so we're going to just talk about a really simple add-on that I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to, and it's for Paladins. In particular, it's for when you're first starting out. Now, one of the things that I really hate or that really irks me as far as when you're first trying to learn how to play a Paladin, especially on a vanilla 1.12.1 client, is that when you hit up your Seal of Righteousness or you hit up, uh, hit up your uh, Seal of the Crusades, the timer for it or that buff is all the way at the top right so it's not in a very easy to see visible spot so one of the things that I like to do is I like to be able to move it and one of the add-ons that enables me to move it is called move anything now I'm going to tell you a little bit about that real quick now all you have to do is you have to download move anything I'll have that in a link below so that it'll be easy for you to get to and then once you load it up into your program it's very lightweight it's very simple just a log in and then hit move slash move backward slash move when you first open it up it'll look something like this okay now you have a couple options available to you, you have on the the, uh, the name of what you're trying to do so if it's the player then up above it you have either you can hide it totally from your UI which is really interesting or you can move it so you can move the player's name now I use X Pearl this is a little bit of a tangent, but I use XPearl to move my characters' names and things like that around. But one of the things that's missing from XPearls is the ability for the buffs. So I wanted to be able to see my buffs as I'm learning uh, the character or as I'm playing the Paladin. And I wanted something pretty lightweight. I didn't want something very obtrusive. So I wanted to use the buffs that were already available. Now if you scroll through all this, you'll see that there's a lot of options available to you. You can do anything from like moving dice roll players' names all kinds of stuff the casting bar but anyway in particular we're looking at the buff window now you click on the move button to move it and then down below it'll have a highlight that says moving buff window when you first do it of course the buffs were going to be at the top right corner now you're going to want to go ahead and move it down to wherever your location with your name is I like it with my beside my name and I like it uh, set up in this particular instance but you can move those buffs anywhere you don't even have to move your name. If you like your character being over there to the left, top left, you can keep it right there. But you can move this buff window anywhere on this whole screen that you would like. Now, one of the things that you got to keep in mind, though, as you're doing the buffs, is that they're going to scroll across to the left. Like you just saw, I just got that uh, Arcane Intellect uh, buff, and it hit to the left of everything. If I take off uh, my Devotion, if I pop it back on, it's to the left. So everything's to the left. The freshest buff is always to the left. Well, so you'll get the uh, Seal of Righteousness, it'll be to the left. Seal of the Crusade will be to the left. But the important thing to remember with the buff window is that it does stack out to the left. And you don't want to do too many uh, buffs too close to your name or whatever because it's just going to overlap like that and you won't be able to see jack shit. So especially when you're like raiding or anything like that, having the buffs beside you to the left, uh, to, to the right of your name or whatever, might not work out exactly the way you like it and so what I recommend doing is go ahead and move it down below like this and it's really nice really simple And this is one of the easiest add-ons I can think of for you guys to actually mess around with your UI and stuff like that but move anything is very easy it's very simple to use especially if you're just getting into uh, using a 1.12.1 client or add-ons in particular it's uh, not very complicated to learn but if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down below. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. This is a Dungeon J signing out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later. I'm just walking the line and there's nobody with me.